Hello folks, this is it was on 18 October November paper 2 2 and the question number is 3. This question is uh, concerned with the chapter dynamics here regarding forces and uh, regarding momentum etc. So the first question says uh, state the principle of conservation of momentum. So it says that uh, uh, for a closed system or for a system where there is no external force, the total momentum of uh, uh, the bodies remain constant. So that's what uh, the statement says. Now, in choice number, uh, question number B, it says uh, it has got a complex figure here. The propulsion system, it means pushing system of a toy car, this is a toy car, consists of a propeller, propeller means uh, uh, this thing, a fan like structure, attached to an AT motor. So, this motor will operate this uh, fan like this, and it pushes air like this, and then that pushes the vehicle uh, forward. So, that's the mechanism of uh, working here. The car is on a horizontal ground and is initially re held at rest by the brakes, initially at rest. When the motor is switched on, it rotates the propeller, propeller so that air is propelled horizontally to the left, so air pushed here. The density of air is rho equal to 1.3 kz uh, per meter cube. Assume that the air moves with velocity of v equal to 1.8 meter per, per second. In a uniform cylinder, so it is uh, supposed that uh, the air moving from the propeller uh, is uh, forming a uniform uh, cylindrical shape of radius, radius equal to 0 0.045 meters. Also, assume that the air to the right of the propeller is stationary. So here it is stationary, and here it air comes to motion. So that means uh, the velocity increases from zero, from zero to 1.8 meter per second. So during the calculations, the initial velocity will be zero. Show that uh, in a time interval of 2.0 seconds, so in this time interval, the mass of air propelled to the left is 0 0.030 kg. So first we have to find the mass propelled in this time interval. So the mass of water propelled is equal to uh, rho into V, of course. Rho is there, V is equal to A into the length of the column here. So if water is thrown like this, thrown like in this form, so L means the length of the air column like this and that L is equal to so rho is there A is equal to pi r square because it is said that uh, uh, water is thrown in the form of a cylinder then uh, this L is equal to velocity into time so we have uh, assumed that the velocity is uniform so that's why the formula for length should be equal to Vt uh, it comes from the formula S equal to ut plus half Vt square if A equal to 0 S equal to ut so now if I apply the values here, I'll have rho is rho is uh, 1.3 into pi into r is this 0 0.045 squared uh, into v equal to 1.8 into time equal to 2.0. So when I do the calculations, I will... Oh yes, yeah, here is the calculator. So let me do the calculations here. So it is uh, uh, 1.3... Uh, into uh, shift uh, uh, shift 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 to uh, pi uh, into 0 0.045 squared into 1.8 into 2.0 equal to so this becomes the mass is equal to 0 0.02977 kg so when I use it in 2SF it will be 0 0.030 as given in the question here so it's proved now let's go to the next question so then in the next question it says that we have to find the increase in the uh, increase in the momentum of mass of the air so the air was initially at rest initially at rest so initial velocity is zero as we have already stated uh, uh, some time back now we have to find the increase in momentum so to find that what I have here is so delta P is equal to delta P is equal to mass into delta V that's equal to mass into V minus 0 initial velocity 0 so that's equal to simply M into V equal to the mass is as we have got uh, previously here just uh, a few moments back we got the mass it was a 0 0.02977 so it is 0 0.02977 into the velocity is 1.8 1.8 so equal to so this will be equal to uh, into 1.8 uh, 
so that will be equal to 0 0.0 0 0.05 kg meter per second so when I write it in uh, uh, 2SF it will be equal to 0 0.054 Newton second kg meter per second and Newton second are the same thing just different ways of representing the same system now the force is equal to uh, delta P by time rate of change of momentum so delta P is equal to 0 0.0553 Five nine and the time is equal to time is equal to so it is shown here time equal to 2.0 seconds 2.0 so 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 it will be equal to so divided to equal to 0 0.0.0279 and so on so in 2s so it will be equal to 0 0.027 newton 0 0.027 newton now explain how Newton's third law applies to the movement of the air by the propeller. So we have to uh, explain how Newton's third law applies here. So what happens here is uh, the propeller first moves, it will push the air in this direction. So the air also exerts uh, some sort of reaction force on the whole system here, on the whole system. So this thing moves. So this thing, uh, this whole thing applies force uh, in backward direction to the air, and the air applies force in the forward direction. To the whole system now in number <coughs> IV the total mass of the car is 0 0.20 kg so mass of car equal to 0 0.20 kg the brakes of the car are released now and uh, the car begins to move with an initial acceleration of 0 0.075 meter per second square so we have to find the frictional force so what we have is the forward moving force which is a force applied force applied minus frictional forces should be equal to mass into a it's the uh, simple second law se second law which says that the resultant force is equal to mass into acceleration of the system so the force applied is this thing so which is uh, i can write from here or 0 0.02679 minus frictional force is equal to mass is 0 0.20 into a is 0 0.075 0.075 so when I do the calculation so it will be equal to this thing is already here here so this uh, minus bracket a uh, 0.2 into 0 0.075 bracket close equal to so this uh, frictional force will be equal to therefore FF will be equal to equal to 0 0.0 0 0.011795 and so on so it's in 2 it will be equal to 0.012 so the frictional force is will be equal to 0.012 newton if in 2sf so if it is 3sf it will be equal to 0.0118 so that will be the answer to this question